blue flame Lights up the dark sea Down below Are you ready? How's it going everyone? My name is Azrus. Welcome back to some more Incredibox. Today, we're gonna to be moving on to Colorbox version five. We're trying to get to version nine. We have four more to cover, so that should be fun. As you can see, it's very blue. Looks like the main character is some kind of, uh, some kind of berry. I would say a blueberry, but I have never seen a blueberry like that. Taking a look at this week's fan art. We got one coming in from Chief Fable. This one is a recreation of the monochrome intro. Yeah, in the intro, I was a, a news reporter. As you can see, I'm all suited up with all the scary characters behind me. This one's dope. I like that. I really like seeing the recreations of like the intros and the thumbnails. I think they're awesome. <laughs> got one coming in from Just Stop. Crazy sketch. This one is a recreation of the yellow color box version three yo it is crazy how detailed this sketch is it matches it like it matches the thumbnail like perfectly solid sketch i love that recreation that's great got another quick one coming from just stop this is a meme of silent hill i've never played silent hill before i actually i played the room years ago so me personally i don't get this meme but you might if you've played silent hill 3 although it does have bread in it. You know, I get a little excited when I see bread. That one coming in from Magic Bunny Star. This one is like perfect for a profile picture. I love the style they went for here. Such a majestic piece of art here. I love it. That one coming in from Turmeric Tunes. I think that's how you say their name. I mess it up every single time I cover one of their fan arts. This one is a very interesting style. I like it. This style reminds me of like a game. But I, I don't, I can't pinpoint it. I, I want to say like the, the me characters for the Wii, but I don't know. And got me with a very detailed looking baguette that's it's kind of crazy <laughs> last one for this week coming in from a it's amy a name you hear every week coming in with another fire piece of art that pose the sunglasses the red eyes although i'm kind of unsure wait oh that's bread that's clean okay i like that thank you so much for sharing your art i love covering them we have some crazy ones for next week so be, uh, be ready for that. Either way, let's move on to the actual mod blue. But of course, first we're gonna be checking out the character descriptions. So let's see what kind of wild stuff we get into this time. Where in the world do you get this 8-bit music from? It is fire. Starting off with the first beat. We got Lewis, age 22, gender male, status alive. Oh, we're getting statuses now. Okay. One of the few people who help with studying the sea, though very helpful with many aspects. He's a total jerk. We kind of have to keep him anyways, due to the fact that he'll always be on task and takes his job very seriously. All right, we're going to be checking out beat one, but I haven't looked at the whole thing yet. I like the whole like Wait, everyone is upside down, I just realized. <laughs> All the icons seem to be shivering, but I'm liking the vibe. I like the dark blue they're going with here. All right, moving on to the first beat. Definitely a classic beat one. Sounds pretty fast paced. For a first beat, it doesn't sound bad. I can kind of get the beat down too, which is nice. Moving on to beat two. We got someone getting eaten by something. Okay, uh, his name is Mar. Age 31, gender male, status alive. I don't know how long though, cause <laughs> it'd been seen with a fish around him. Okay, it's a fish. However, it was a safe fish. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> though it was really tight around him so he can't get it off at the moment. He's currently getting some rest. <laughs> what an interesting description. Moving on to beat two. I think, are those supposed to be like claps? I, I don't know. Also, I feel like I've heard this in previous versions, like that same instrument at least. Moving on to beat three, um, we got Carl and Carlos, age 11, gender male, wait, which one though? Oh, okay, wait, they're twins, okay, so age 11, gender male, status alive, the twins. Carl is the extroverted one, while Carlos is the introverted side. It's easy to tell who is who once you know, as Carlos has a bandage around his left eye, or at least where it used to be. You see, when the twins are checking out the sea, a splash has been heard, and a drop got into Carlos's eye, then melting it. What kind of, what kind of sea is this? Carl still stays supportive of Carlos despite all of his tragedies. Was it before any safety was enforced? 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 Alright, moving on to, that looks like bacon. Let's hear it. Yeah, that actually sounds pretty cool. Okay, the beats are sounding pretty good so far. But in reality, we can't really tell until we put them together. Poor Carlos doesn't have an eye, but sounds pretty good though. Okay, moving on to beat four, we got 
Zephyr, okay, age 28, gender male, still alive. Zephyr has a hobby for fishing, though we usually have to keep him away from the sea due to reasons. He instead does it at the ocean side. He's gotten some good catches, which is impressive. It's usually cold near there, which explains the heavy coat and headgear. Moving on to beat four. Solid hi-hats. I feel like the beats are gonna be really good. I don't know, those hi-hats were solid. Moving on to beat five, we got Quincy, age 38, gender male, status infected. I can tell. <laughs> Quincy was a little messed up in the head, and he had thought, what if he drinks some of the seawater? Probably not the best idea here. Would you guess? He got infected. One of his eyes refuses to work and shows a constant smile. Other than that, he still acts the same way as he did before. This was also after any safety was enforced. Moving on to the Alex Bongos. I have no, I have no words for that. Smash his head against the, against the drum. Okay. Definitely infected. Moving on to the effects. Now we got effect one name is Isaac. Isaac. Age is 19, gender male, status mutated. Yeah. This person is related to the same person who decided to dive into the sea with no safety gear whatsoever. He'd later be found at the near bottom from the help of the cam light. Whatever that is. It's also noted they can hear his humming whilst down there. He's attached at the bottom, so there's no use trying to get him out. Alright, moving on to... This one is the one that got infected. He's a creature. Humming. It's gonna be the bass. That is a bass, indeed. My headphones are vibrating. That sounded nice though, I like that. Also, pretty interesting looking polo. I actually like that polo creation that they went for there. Moving on to, oh, I'm guessing this cam light. Cam light, age none, gender none, status intact. We built a camera-like machine to help capture anything in the depths of the said sea. Usually it will come out completely intact, but may sometimes get some minor damages like dents or scratches, but other than that, it works really well. All right, moving on to cam light. That's a one hell of a camera. It's like stomping. I don't, <laughs> very interesting sound for a camera to make. Moving on to, okay. <sighs> Name is Tim, age 18, gender male, status unknown. We tried to use a human subject for seeing the depths, with it being our first time not using a cam light by getting a passerby. He said okay, but we kind of forgot to tell him what it was for. When he was halfway down, he started to panic, and then the line connecting the tank started to violently shake. When we brought it back up, the tank was broken open. During this time, we currently can't find him. Alright, moving on to effect three. Okay, first off, it's a clock polo. Second, that sounded that sounded fantastic. That was great. Definitely my favorite polo so far. Also sounds like a beat. It could be a beat, but it also could be an effect. I guess it's interchangeable. Moving on to effect four. We got Warren, age 15, gender none, status alive. Aids with warnings if anything might be coming to the surface or water splashes. Usually forgetful at times, causing Carlos's mishap. So they'll be laid off until further notice. Yeah, doesn't seem like Warren is made for this job here. Moving on to effect four. It sounds like an alarm. I think that's pretty obvious though. I mean, it, it sounds sounds like an alarm. <laughs> I, I don't know what else to say. Yeah, this was the one that was like slacking off, right? Moving on to effect five, we got Storn. Age unknown, gender none, status alive. A creature found in the sea with some horns in their head. They made a sound when they were found, possibly to warn the threats. We'd then leave them alone and let them do their own thing. Moving on to effect five, I forget what, which one this one was. All right, yeah, yeah. Like I said before, I read all the polos before, so I read everything first, and then I cover everything next but when i edit i read them and then right after i go over that polo but i don't do that in real life all right so moving on to this one
sounds like fog horns. I like that though. That was nice. Oh yeah, it, yeah, it reminds me of X Run, right? There's one that was a horn. I don't know why it reminds me of it. Probably because it was a horn also. But moving on to the melodies now, we got a person playing a piano. Okay. Name is Una, age 22, gender male, status infected. Una was an unfortunate victim of the infected sea. He believed the water could heal and had washed his face with it, as he had some scars and cuts. But the next day, his face had some weird bubbles growing on said spots, with part of his mouth had melted. At least the scars were gone. But now Una just stays indoors at all times and will occasionally play some tunes on his piano. Pretty cool, honestly. Moving on to the melody. Oh, we got the piano. Please be good. Please. <laughs> Not gonna lie, <laughs> I was expecting a little more from that. But I guess it sets the melody, so I mean, it's all right. I was expecting a little more, you know, pizzazz, you know? He can go ham with a piano, you know? Moving on to melody two, we got uh, Octolin, age unknown, gender unknown, status alive. Was found halfway down the sea. It was seen playing some sort of violin with its tentacles. There's a chance they might be related to someone who had fallen down there with this exact violin. Either that or it was stolen, <laughs> nice. All right, moving on to the Octolin, right? Not bad. I like the violin. Nothing crazy, but it sounds nice. The melody sounds like slow. Uh, I'm curious to see if something's gonna pick up the pace here. Moving on to, okay, name is T, age none, gender none, status intact. Model T was originally going to help more with exploring the sea, but instead just aided with trying to protect the near surface. You'll sometimes see its blue eye lights glowing when you look down there. Let's check out this one. That one is my favorite melody so far. That one sounded amazing. And such a nice tune. Coming from T? Is that is that one T? I forget. Moving on to melody four. Name is Larry, age 25, gender male status alive. Larry hadn't known much of what the sea was. He was seen sitting near it with his legs in the water playing something on his guitar until Model T had pulled him out. It was a little too late, however, and his legs got infected. It slowly worsened over time and it eventually had to get them amputated. Moving on to the guitar. Banjo? He went a little fast at that one part. Okay, that was that was actually pretty nice. I think that is a banjo, right? Or at least the sound is. No, I mean, not a bad set of melodies so far. Not bad. We got, oh, the main character. Name is Blapple Bush. Age unknown, gender none, status alive. Blapples are the unique kind of fruit found in the blue city. This Blapple Bush has been found near the surface on the ocean side, but had mutated to where it's alive and has one eye. <laughs> He'll occasionally give out a Blapple to someone, but is highly recommended to wash it after or before consuming. <laughs> okay, no, the Blapples girl underwater. Okay, so, okay, definitely wash it. We're gonna move on to the <laughs> Blapple, right? <laughs> yeah. Another really good polo. This, okay, so this one, this one, and the clock one, yeah. Those are my favorite ones so far. Those three specifically sound immaculate. Those are nice. Kind of want to taste a blapple. They never really described what it tastes like. I'm guessing like a, oh, like a blueberry apple. But you got to wash it first. We got holy. Okay, we got king, age 19, gender male, status infected. Clearly. <laughs> was dared by his friends to dive into the sea and stay there for a few minutes. He was okay for a while until three heads had sprouted from his back during the night. Due to the creatures, most of the energy goes to them as King himself gets little to none. Though the creatures happen to love King dearly, they have a similar behavior to puppies. Ah, uh, yeah. Moving on to voice one. <laughs> You know how I am with choir polos. That one was all right. It was it was all right. It definitely wasn't my favorite choir polo, but it actually it actually sounded pretty good. Moving on to, he doesn't look happy. 
Name is Omar, age 18, gender male, status infected. There he was. He had looked a lot better since the last time I saw him, but still tends to be just as anxious. He'd never told Mr. Time his real name. Wait a minute. Guess that was never brought up until I said something. However, a while ago, he had gotten into a fight with King and him, along with the creatures. Had nearly drowned him in the sea. I was lucky enough to save him. Unfortunately, I wasn't fast enough and he had gotten affected. Appearance-wise, nothing much has been noticeable, but he said how he felt bloated due to him swallowing some of the seawater. Ugh. I'll be taking my best care of him until Mr. Time happens to come around. Mr. Time from Red. Moving on to voice two. I wonder if we're gonna get some lyrics in here. It sounds like another choir. That one actually sounded pretty good too. Not quite my favorite, but definitely higher. Moving on to Torch. Age unknown, gender none, status alive. A rare type of fire that can stay lit even underwater. Extremely helpful whenever one's deep down in the sea, though they don't like to be used as just a tool. We've tried not to do that too much. All right, moving on to voice three. Blue flame lights up the dark sea. Down below, are you ready? Yo, okay, okay. I didn't expect to get some lyrics in here. That was fire, literally. Oh my god, okay. Yeah, that one was really good. That might be uh, part of the intro. Moving on to Maria, age 26, gender female. Just a mermaid that casually lives in the ocean side. Not much of a bother really, but shows off some cool performances sometimes. She has a bandage wrapped around her face, but you can notice that she has two eyes in one spot. Oh yeah, there could be more, but you can't really tell. Not much else to say about her. Moving on to voice four, the mermaid. <laughs> yeah, I, well, that it swam up. That was weird. At the beginning, I'm like, oh, this is not going to be a good choir. But then. Ow. I don't know what I think it was the so I guess the choirs that I don't like is if there's a sharp cut from each tune that they do but this one was kind of smooth does that make sense it makes sense to me either way um that one was great another great choir moving on to the last voice we got Bo, age 42 gender female I'm the main leader of blue we haven't been on good terms with red for a long time so I had to disguise myself just to know if they're planning anything oh yeah that one was from a. Uh, Metropolis. Wait, but that was orange though. I don't know. Though nothing much, I'd gotten Omar to try and understand the situation, but it hasn't gone well. Way too attached to Mr. Time. Understandable. Other than that, my skill in computing and even some science with my smart self makes me very useful. Also strong material-wise, but when it comes to other things, like fighting, I'm always waterproof. I'm free to swim in the sea without worrying about getting infected. I can help you if you ever need anything. Look at that thing like staring at you in the corner of the screen. Also, I'm not gonna lie, some of these are like kind of difficult to read. Maybe it's the wording. I think it's the wording a bit. We're gonna move on to Metropolis. <laughs> I don't think that one was the Metropolis one. I do remember that sound or that same sound from one of the other versions. Also, it seems like we're doing all choirs and one that sounds a fire with lyrics. They sound good. They sound good. I wonder how they're going to sound together though. So on that note, let's move on to the beat. I'm pretty excited for the beats. I feel like they sounded pretty good. Wait, 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 wait. Is there an extra polo? Oh, there is. Okay, hold on. Weird. What fire? All right, I'm gonna put that with the beats. Okay, let's check out the, all the beats together. Yeah, I actually like those beats. Each beat sounded really good alone, so I, I figured it was gonna sound good. All right, so let's move on to the effects now. Let's hear it.
the effects always seem to sound very interesting together. Uh, like I said, the clock one here takes it away. This one's also not bad. Oh, and the bass. The bass is great too. On that note, let's move on to the melodies here. That's like sad. I like that. The melodies are great. This one reminds me of the Ghast, right? I think it's G H A Z T from uh, Mice Again Monsters. I keep on saying that for every other mod, but yeah, that one reminds me of it though. I don't know why. Let's move on to the voices now. I'm, I'm pretty excited. Actually, yeah, the the voices are mainly all choirs, but this one is great uh, for lyrics. Let's hear it. Yo, the voices. Okay. This mod, this mod sounds pretty good. When putting it all together, that one sounded amazing with everything else. I didn't really like this one in here though. All right. Well, on that note, I guess we're going to be making a deep blue beat. <laughs> together this mod was actually really good <laughs> there were a few polos in here you can probably tell because i only use them like once in here I, I try to get every single polo when i make a mix sometimes i do forget one or two if i don't use them often 
I usually don't like them as much. I guess that isn't necessarily true all the time, but especially the uh, mix, the, the selection of polos that I use at the end of the mix that I did, amazing, bro, amazing. And that, that the only lyrics in here, fire. Whoever voiced this polo, amazing. Like I said, I'm always excited to cover another Colorbox version, and next time we have, uh, oh god, what is next? Purple? Either way, we are super close to covering v9 black which has a special polo in it but either way i think that's gonna wrap it up i hope you guys enjoyed because i surely did this was actually really good thank you to all the members of the channel thank you to all the people who've joined the discord it's been really nice and chill so far and of course thank you for watching and i guess on that note i will uh, catch you guys on the flip <laughs>